we weren't taught about how to run a co-op or what a co-op was. We weren't taught about alternatives. So for people even thinking about what they would do, in some ways they had no models. They didn't know about the models. They were practicing it, but they weren't talking about doing cooperative economics, especially in the 60s because, again, they felt it would be too divisive both within the black community, because not everybody in the black community agreed with co-op development, and outside the black community it was too dangerous to be seen as talking this commie stuff or whatever. So they wanted to stick to civil rights, political rights, what was in the Constitution. Um, that's what they stuck to, especially in their public speeches. So even though everybody in their organization, people they knew, the local communities were all practicing co-op economics when they could, um, it wasn't talked about. Mm. But also remember it was also dangerous, right. right? We still had in the 60s people being killed, not just for registering to vote, they were being killed for trying to do alternative economics sometimes. And lynchings had been going on for 100 years, and part of that was people trying to do alternative economics. <laughs>